Today I'll show you how to set your tablet up for ZBrush in a way that is guaranteed to increase your sculpting speed by around a billion percent and turn you into a proper ZBrush ninja. And if you stick around till the end, I'll also show you my super mega hack that almost got me fired. My first recommendation is to get a older version Wacom like the Intuos 3. Main reason for this being that the touch ring and the buttons on the newer models are just absolute garbage. And I'll show you in a second why you should even care because I mean most people don't. And I'm sure a lot of you are thinking that hey dude don't the new ones have like twice the amount of pressure sensitivity levels? and they do however if you can actually feel the difference between 1024 and 2048 levels of pressure then you are definitely a higher grade human than than i am i actually bought this thing just a couple of years ago literally straight out of the trunk of some random guy's car i wonder if he had stolen this Okay, so what we're looking at here is the uh, Wacom Tablet Properties panel. If you have one of those aforementioned newer tablets, then your UI will probably look a little different from this one, but the main settings will still be the same. What's nice is that it lets us set custom bindings per software. So let's go ahead and set this to be just ZBrush. So let's start with the function settings. These are all the things that are on the tablet itself. Starting with the express keys, this is the way that I usually set this up. And what binding goes where is mostly based on using the most accessible buttons for the keys that I use the most. And as you know, ZBrush is 99% based around three keys, Control, Alt, and Shift, right? So let's set this big one here. Just click the drop down, go to modifier. Let's set this to Shift. We'll set this bottom right one to alt and I'll set the bottom one to control as that is the one that you'll probably use the least of the three. Now the fourth button I'm going to set to some random key that I don't really use for anything else like the letter K on my keyboard and I'll show you why that is in a second. Now let's just skip touch strip for now and jump directly to the grip pen section. For now, the only things that will actually change are under the mapping tab. Let's start off by turning off Windows Ink because that's basically a war crime. And let's set our screen area to be only our main monitor with force proportions turned on unless you're a serial killer. Okay, so now we have Control, Alt and Shift bound to the tablet buttons. So now we can use those for navigating and smoothing and masking and all that jazz. Remember, we bound this button to the letter K on our keyboard. So what I've done is that I have my custom menu that I made up here. I've bound this menu to a hotkey. So by holding Control Alt and clicking on the menu, you can see that we have now activated the a hotkey assign function in ZBrush. And now if I hit K on the keyboard, we have now bound this menu and the opening of this menu to the letter K on the keyboard. And now if I click this fourth button on the tablet, that menu is gonna open up right underneath my, my pen or underneath my cursor. And this is so much faster than having to go up here, clicking this menu, finding whatever I'm looking for, now I can just hit this button, find whatever, and keep going. And I'll make a separate video at some point showing how to build one of these menus for anyone who doesn't know. Now, to the reason why the touch strip is absolutely amazing and way better than the stupid touch ring on the newer ones, if you go up here under Z plugin and miscellaneous utilities, you'll find these two brush size increase and decrease buttons. What these buttons do is that they let you increase and decrease the size of your brush by using a button. If you keep an eye on this draw size right here, if I hit down, you can see it 
goes down in draw size by the amount set in this brush increment and the same if I go up. Now these are also bindable just like the uh, custom menu button is. So what I can do is if I hit control alt and click this button again just like we did with the custom menu I can bind this to whatever button and because I have a weird Norwegian keyboard and that doesn't really agree with the default hotkeys for this but I'll just go ahead and bind O to brush size down. This is already assigned to something but it's something that I'm not using so I don't mind. Go back and do the same for brush up as well. I'll just choose the letter P for this. And you can of course set these to whatever two keys that you don't use for anything else. Now if you keep an eye on my brush size here, if I hit O on my keyboard the brush gets smaller. If I hit P on my keyboard the brush gets bigger. Now what's so awesome is that you can now go under functions and here under the touch strip tab if we expand this drop down we can set the left touch strip to use a keystroke and I can now assign moving up on my touch strip to P and down to O. Hit OK. And now back in ZBrush if I slide my finger up and down on the touch strip you can see that it interactively changes the brush size. And for someone like me who changes my brush size every couple of seconds this is a total game changer when it comes to both efficiency as well as being able to just keep working without being uh, pulled out of my thought process or my creative flow just to change the size of my brush. So what I do is that I just use my thumb. I can paint, go down, paint smaller, bigger, smaller, and you get the point. There is now only one thing left that is keeping us shackled to our keyboard. And this hack is oh so dirty, 18 plus, adults only. So you might want to make sure your kids are not in the room for this last part. 